Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I want to go straight into this video so that I talk as a Zambian because this is year one has been talking as a Nigerian. Now I want to address the three people I'm addressing tonight. Sia one, Bali and ECL. Why am I going to talk about these people? First of all, I'm going to talk about Sia one because Sia one is not a, a Zambian but a foreigner and I, I don't know if he's even Nigerian, if he's not from Benin Republic, but he pretends to be Nigerian because it's possible in Nigeria that you can be from Benin Republic, Benin Republic, in, in Nigeria they call it Benin Republic, and be associating yourself with the Nigeria. Because if Siawan is indeed a Nigerian, why is it that those Nigerian celebrities cannot associate with him? Why is it that Sia 1, I'm telling you that Sia 1 is a non-entity in Nigeria. That's why he knows to say Zambians, a lot of Zambians are gullible people. They like papas. This is the more reason why he, the only place he can make it as a papa is, is, is in this country. He can only make it in this country as a papa. Nigerians don't take nonsense. That's why he can't take that nonsense to Nigeria. That's why he has failed to succeed as a papa in Nigeria and is ever poking his nose in Zambia. Because if Sia One knew that, if Sia One is indeed a prophet, why didn't he prophesy about Tinibu? Why didn't Sia Wan uh, campaign for uh, Gregory Obi, Peter Obi, Peter Gregory Obi? Why didn't he campaign for him? If Sia Wan was indeed the prophet, why didn't he foresee the, the falling currency in Nigeria? Why didn't he prophesy that in Nigeria? Why is it that he has to be stuck to Zambia? Even when he has left, even when he has left Zambia, he's in Nigeria. Why is he stuck with Zambia? It's because he knows to say in Zambia is where we entertain nonsense. In Nigeria, they don't entertain nonsense. That's why he can't talk about Nigeria because when he talks about Nigeria, they will adjust. Uh, they will remove Amana and Yukoma gadgets. What do you call it? They will castrate him. They will castrate him because Nigerians don't take nonsense. Nigerians don't entertain nonsense. So that is the more reason why that Sia one is ever talking about Zambia. Why has he felt he has failed to talk about Nigeria? Charity begins at home. If charity begins at home, why has Sia one failed to deal with issues in his own country? Why has he failed to prophesy about Nigeria? The people, does you see one know that in Nigeria, there is Boko Haram, there is all these rebel leaders, the insecurities in that country, the security uh, systems in that country are, are failing. Why is he not talking about the security of his people in Nigeria who are being killed every day? Why can't Sia One focus on those people? Why does he have he has to run to Zambia? Because Zambia, that's where we have gullible people who go in the name of papas. Now here, Sia One, I'm telling you, there is no room for papas. There is no room for papas. You fix your economy in Nigeria. You focus on the problems of Nigeria. Stop focusing on the problems of Zambia. You will never come back to Zambia. You will never step your foot in this country. You will never. You will never step your foot in this country. You focus on Nigeria. You focus on building. Because if you were indeed a prophet, a true prophet, you can be now, you can be comforting Nigerians. 
Because Nigerians, the economy is bad. The economy in Nigeria is bad. Why are you not focusing on Nigerian economy? You always talk about Zambian music. Why don't you talk to Bene Davido? If you are indeed the, an influential person, why is it that we have never seen you with Davido? The most influential people in Nigeria were called at Davido's wedding. Why were you not called at Davido's wedding? If you see a one are indeed powerful, why didn't Peter Obi Glory, Peter Obi, uh, that opposition, why didn't Abu Bakr, that guy, those opposition leaders, call you to work with them if you are indeed a prophet of change? Because how is it that your prophecies and your, pro your, 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 your gift of changing government is only in Zambia and not in your own country? How? Because you must prophesy about change in your country, not change in other countries. You are always focusing on other countries, on Zambia especially. Why don't you talk about Museven? If you see a one a true prophet and a true leader as you, as you think you are, go to Uganda and talk about Museven and we shall see if Museven will even figure will even learn. Can. Kagame, there were elections in Rwanda. Kagame won elections. Why didn't you prophesy? Why didn't you prophesy? Because you know that those ones, <laughs> they will follow you where you are and finish you. You are a non-entity where, wow, you are a non-entity and you are ever talking about Zambia because you know to say Zambians, there is a lot of garbage people who believe in that nonsense of your oil. That oil, you have no powers, where which powers do you have? If you are the powers, if you indeed you are, you are the powers, a god of powers or whatever it is, why have you failed to use those powers to change poverty in your country? Why have you failed to change poverty in your country if indeed you are a powerful person? If you are indeed a powerful person, why have you failed? Why did you fail to travel to Rwanda? Why did, have you failed to, to advise Museveni? Why have you failed to advise presidents in Africa? As a president in Africa, why have you failed to do that? You, you, you always talk about Zambia because Zambians are gullible and desperate. You have seen the desperation in Zambians to, to, to make riches faster. Those nonsense oils don't even work. That nonsense oil doesn't work. Why is it that you always have to market your oil in Zambia? Why is it that your oil, your blessings, your powers have failed to change lives in Nigeria? Why have they failed to change lives in Nigeria? Those your powers, your so-called powers, your Sangoma powers, you have failed to change lives in Nigeria. You want to come and change lives in Zambia? Idiot! Who do you think? You are nothing in West Year One, you are nothing. You are just a squambapa. You are just a squambapa. You are nothing. There is no way. And you Zambians, because you listen to papas, you believe that papas are those who come from outside the country. No, we have Zambian pastors here. We have pastors in Zambia. We have men of God in Zambia. True men of God. True men of God that even fear God properly. Than that nonsense. Than that, 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 that thing, that Sangoma, that, that guy was nothing. That guy, you Zambians forget that. That guy, that self-proclaimed papa, was saying that he is the one who was behind the death of Karisto Chitamfia Jr. He talked about saying he was the reason why Karisto Chitamfia Jr. died. Why would you Zambians still believe and still support a person that claims to have killed a Zambian? You Zambians, open up your minds. How can a papa, you've got your pastors, you've got pastors, you've got bishops, you've got all these people. Why can't you go to those, your pastors? Why can't you go to your men of God, but you're relying on that nonsense called Sia One? Sia One, you're nothing. You are nothing. Stop even involving body, stop involving a church in your nonsense. Of, there is no way. You, there is no way. HH can allow you to come. You thought that you can, you can, you can brainwash HH. You can't brainwash HH. You can't brainwash this government that is there. You can't brainwash them. They don't believe in papa powers. Believing in working.
The reason why is look right now you are failing to succeed in your country. So now wasiro kulaja, you have no food where you are staying. You have not you are faking a life. Now you want to come to Zambia. Now the way of coming to Zambia, there is no way of coming to Zambia. Now you want to be a prophet of doom over Zambia. You shall not prophesy doom over Zambia. Makaka musulawe. There is no way. There is no, you have no, there is no, if there is power, why has that power failed to work in Nigeria? That power only works in Zambia. You want to just use that power, can only work in Zambia. That power, that oil, that whatever it is, it only fails to work in, it, it only works in Zambia. It can't work in Nigeria. It can't work in other countries. How? Only you Zambians who are, who are brainwashed will believe that that nonsense of power can touch anyone. That nonsense of power cannot touch this country, cannot touch anyone, because we are covered by the blood of Jesus. Do you understand? You think us we can be scared of you? No, 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 everyone is scared of you. Me, I'm not scared of you. Me, I'm not scared of you because my God is bigger than you. Your powers can't work in, they, they, they only focus on Zambia. Why have they failed to work in Nigeria? Why have your powers, your superpowers, your so-called Godfather, why has your Godfather failed to prophesy in Nigeria? Why failed to work in Nigeria? It only works in Zambia. Why? How? You see, when you're ever focusing on Zambia, ever talking about Zambia, can you move on? Can you move on? Move on! Every day you can't be talking about Zambia. Zambia this, Zambia this, Zambia this, Kalaba this, Kalaba. Everyone in Kalaba was in an accident, Kalaba this, Kalaba that. Why have you failed to focus on Nigerian footballers, Nigerian musicians? Why have you failed to focus on your own people? Focus on your own people. We will also focus on our own people and our own problems. Focus on your own problems. Focus on your own problems. You can't just be focusing on Zambia this. No, Zambia, I see that I have nonsense. Nonsense. Not here. You think you can tell everyone. You think you will, will watch you talk about talk rubbish about Zambia and we shall just watch you. You think everyone will be not every Zambian is gullible. Not every Zambian is useless. Do you understand? You are a finished thing. See, I want, I'm telling you that you are finished. You are finished. You are, see, I want, you are finished. You are nothing. You are just an idiot. You have no power over Zambia. Anyway. You have no power over Zambia. How can you always be talking about go and prophesy about Nigeria? Prophesy Nigeria, we see. Prophesy about Nigeria. Prophesy about Tinibu. Prophesy about Peter Obi Glory. Peter, prophesy about Abubakar. Prophesy about those leaders in Nigeria. Don't prophesy about Zambia. Zambia is a Christian nation. We don't believe in Sangomas. You have failed to prophesy in Nigeria. You have failed to change lives in Nigeria. You think you can change lives in Zambia. You can't change lives in Zambia anyway. You can't change lives in Zambia. You think you can come and change lives in Zambia. You think you can come here and come to Zambia and say, Oh, Zambia this, Zambia this. Which of your parents are Zambian? You don't even have any roots in Zambia. You, the only roots you have in Zambia was that you were molesting girls. You were molesting girls. You were sleeping with your church members. 
You were doing wrong things in the name of being a papa. You have no right. You have no integrity. You have no moral standing to talk about Zambia because your history is about sleeping with different married women, different women, molesting children, molesting different people in the name of oil, in the name of anointing. And today you think that you have powers over Zambia. Which God is going to allow that nonsense to talk about Zambia? Which nonsense? Only a mad person will listen to your nonsense. Only a mad person will believe in this. Si ankoko, si ankonkonkonkonkonkon, si avonkoko, si a chopet. Why? You have failed. If you are indeed a prophet, can you go and talk? Okay, we want to see you change the lives of Nigerians. We want you, we want to see the influence that you have. Talk about Nigeria and let us hear if the Nigerian president will listen to you. Let us talk about Nigeria and we hear if Nigerians will listen to you. Now Nigerian can ever listen to you because you are a non entity. Non entity. You are a non entity. That's why there is no Nigeria that knows you. There is no you you can't even stay in Banana Island in Lagos. You can't have you can't be staying in Banana Island, Ikeja, Ikoi. You can't stay in those places. Victoria Island, you can't stay in those places. If you are powerful, if you were powerful, why is it that you didn't talk about Nigerian elections? Why don't you talk about Nigerian politics? Why don't you talk about South African politics that were going on in South Africa? Why didn't you talk about South African politics? Why didn't you talk about Rwandan politics? Why don't you talk about Uganda? Why don't you talk about... Why is it that yours is only focused on Zambia? It's because you've got interest in Zambia. You want to come and mine in Zambia. Now there's no one who's going to give you a mining license in Zambia. Over my dead body. As long as a church is on the throne you will never step in this country that's why you want to come back to zambia because they are promising you those thugs that were there before they are promising you to come and give you mining licenses they will not give you they will use you again they will use you but there is no zambian you're going to influence as long as i am alive as long as i'm here I see a one every day, see a one, see a one, see a one, see a one, see a what, see a what. Uko queen, I'm not actually see a one. Actually, see a twenty. I will finish you to see a hundred, from one to see a hundred. You are see a zero. After me, I'm see a zero. You are see a hundred. Watch a pair too small. I've been watching you for a long time. I've been watching you. I've been seeing you. But you think that us, we are, we are gullible people. You once, once, one time you were threatening, one time you were telling me, no, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now me, I don't pay no sense to that nonsense. I don't pay attention to that nonsense. She a chop it. She a chop it, she a hundred. You can't be a she a one in this country. You go queen, eh? you are finished. After you are finished, finished, finished. You are finished. You are finished. That's why you can't survive where you are. If you are indeed a prophet, if you are indeed at the power, why have you failed to use those powers in Nigeria? And I'm, I'm repeating this point. Why have you failed to use those powers in Nigeria? Why have you failed to use those powers in other countries? Every day, Zambia. Every day, Zambia. What has Zambia done to you? You want to come and finish our women here. You want to come and sleep with more women here. You want to come and finish our women here. You want to come and sleep with more women. You want to come and finish more women here. You can't finish our people here. You can't finish our people. No one, if people are scared of you, me, I'm not scared of you. I want you to know that me, I'm not scared of you.
You need to know that me, I'm not scared of you. We are not scared of you. Because if your powers are indeed powerful, you would have changed the Nigeria. Because charity begins at home. Charity begins at home. Go and fix in Nigeria. Fix your people. Not for coming to fix here. You have no power to speak on behalf of Zambians. You have no power to pick up or to speak on behalf of Zambians. Only us Zambians will be able to defend ourselves. Zambians changed the government not because of you. Zambians changed the government because there was a thuggery, there was cadarism, there was misappropriation of funds. Now I also want to touch Kuriba Alungu. Balungu, your desperation, your desperation to return is not good. I would have, I would have, I would have supported an idea of you choosing for the sake of democracy. I would have supported an idea of you endorsing someone else, not you wanting to come back. I disagree, and we differ on those principles. That you want to sing the Alebuele Rapo. Mwere le pesa. You did your part. You played your role. Na imwewe ne. Balungu. Choose someone else. Find their better. Their young people. You can mentor. Who can take up the mantle of leadership. We want to see you. Mentoring people. Not your desperation. The hunger for power. Now that is hunger for power. That is the hunger for power. Your hunger for power, your, your hunger for power that these PF people had before, that hunger for power, PF don't love Zambia. PF are hungry to come back because they have failed to survive in society. They were surviving from corruption. They were surviving from, from, from all kinds of evil things. That's why Mr. President Bali you should wake up Bali. Your people who are fighting corruption in these institutions will be dying one by one because those people, there are still people in the systems who are left by these tags that were there before. So Bali, wake up and clean up your system. Clean up your house. The late person who just died, we heard that he was trying to fight corruption Ku IBA, he was trying to fight corruption. What happened in his in his veg to trying to fight corruption? The corrupt people he found in there gang up against him. And that is the nonsense that Sia One wants to that Sia Hundred wants to be supporting. That is the nonsense he wants to be supporting. That is the nonsense he wants to be supporting. Bali, I love you and I want you to know. And I'm telling you, Bali, in, I am one person who tried to fight these people in the system. I tried to say, no, this, no, this. They ganged up against me. And I was branded something else. Bali, open your eyes. Open your eyes, Bali. Open your eyes and see. There is no way, Bali, let me tell you, there is no way a former president can come back and say, I am going back to stand. There is no way. There are people in the system that are telling him to say, Sir, you can still come back. Timu Awele Lapo. There are people telling him that. There are people. There is no mumbwe pakurila. Mumbwe pakurila. Ni ispalo kwa shintirire. Mumbwe pakurila. Ni ispalo kwa shintirire. Mwe pakurila ni ispero kwa shintirila.
There is no way a whole former president can just wake up and say, I'm going to stand. There is no way. There are people feeding him. There are people within who are telling him you can still come back. There are people telling him you can come back. You can come. Where is he getting the confidence from? That's why we are telling you and everyone that cares for you but is telling you, clean up. The people that love you, they have made you perceive them to say they don't love you. Some of us, probably people have told you to say, hey, no, 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 Chela is a bad guy. But you people, us, who fought with Bali, let us stand by him, let us help him. Let us help him. Because there are people by Kandile who are not helping him there. It's not easy to be in his shoes where he is. So, now we kill him. Could he see a hundred? He will see a hundred. was a hundred you have no power over zambia you have no power over zambia no weapon formed against zambia shall prosper no weapon formed against zambia shall prosper and you zambians because we have a short memory because we have a short memory let me tell you you people in zambia let me tell you you can't a woman that was in a marriage for 10 years and is heartbroken you expect that woman to heal in one year you expect that woman to heal in one year an economy that was destroyed over seven ten years plus you expect that economy to be revived in one year in two years a lot of people even me i was almost buying into that thing of saying oh okay eh, maybe hh has failed what no hh has not failed the economy was destroyed the thieves were plundering they were stealing money that's why now uh pardon but i'll be honest with you one sailor to no call in salah everyone that no one is playing with money no one is playing golf with money no one this is the first time we have all been humbled we have been humbled this one has humbled us there is no card that is playing with money golf. no one The people, that is why we are seeing now, I'm telling you, and I'm being honest here, the people that love HH and tell him the truth, like myself, the ground is not okay, people are not very happy, those things have to be worked on. And as someone that loves Bali, I tell him and say, no. People, but also Bali, we want to tell you to say, Bali, do not come and remember only after you are out of there, you come and know, oh, I should have listened to Tukuta. Oh, I should have listened to Chakut. Listen to your grassroots. Listen to the grassroots. Listen to the grassroots. Listen to the people that fought for you. Listen to the people that love you. As people who love you, they have turned us as enemies against you. They say we are your enemies. They say we are your enemies. But you don't see the love that the people that really love you will tell you the truth as it is. The people that love you, there is no normal Zambian, no normal Zambian would want to see 
Lungu back in this country. There is no normal Zambian that would want no normal Zambian that saw Mapenzi being shot. Under PF we saw Samansama killed. Killed in Samansama. Bloodshed. Cold blood. Those same police of the oh, oh, I won't speculate much. But the things we are hearing from the suspects of the killers of that gentleman, the same behavior, the ruthless behavior of shooting someone like that, killing someone in cold blood, that spirit will never come back to this country. I am saying this, I we are better off. Even if to truly, we are better off with HH. Until a better opposition comes, maybe you an opposition that is more clear and stuff like that. But the current that we have, it is what? It is hunger for power. There's too much hunger for power. If Balungu means well for Zambia, he should endorse someone. I am challenging him to endorse someone. If Balungu loves Zambia, if Balungu's intentions are not selfish intentions, let him endorse someone. From that same Uka, let him endorse someone. If Balungu loves Zambia, let him endorse someone from that Uka. Let us see. Otherwise, if he's going to come as himself and is whatever it is, then it's not about Zambia. It's about him and coming back because one, his people were corrupt. And we can see how ACC, how these things are coming down now to say, okay, the corruption here. How could an intercity, Umuntu Amu intercity, how can a person that was working in intercity? Acquire so much wealth and build so much property from intercity. There's no way. So, as I tell you, see a hundred, see a two hundred. Stop talking about Zambia. Stop talking about Zambia. Even as you think that Uka or can come back, let me tell you that that Uka is destroyed. They are already divided. They are already divided. They are already divided. <laughs> they can't come. Why, why do you think? Let me tell you. Why is it that I couldn't even associate myself with that Uka? Is because in that same Uka, the moment they will choose a president is when you will see their true colors. When they choose a president is when you see their true colors. Those people, when they choose a president, is when you will see. Let me tell you the truth. Kalaba. Kalaba. Wa Kalaba had said that there was corruption in Lungu's government. And he left Lungu's government. Wa Kalaba. Today he can go and dine with a corrupt president. Today he can dine with a corrupt man. And you see a one, see a hundred, you want to bring back that same lung. You want to bring that same lung. You want not in this country, not in Zambia. In Zambia, when you are gone, you are gone, gone, gone. You need went, went, wentest. MMD went, went, wentest. PF is gone, 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 went, went, wentest. PF, I repeat, you need went, went, wentest. MMD went, went, wentest. PF 
is went went wentest gone gone gonest and pf is not coming back to this country for more bloodshed we refuse bloodshed in this country we shall not have bloodshed in this country we shall not have people having bloodshed in this country over protests there will be no way youths are going to protest in the bush in this country humble yourself and come back to your country humble yourself tayali just come back to your country hh is a parent bali is a father bali is a father bali is a father my appeal to bali take chirufia tayali as a as a son as a child come back there is no need for you tayali to be out of the country running like a fugitive you have a home here in zambia humble yourself whoever is using you whoever is, they will not sustain you my brother come back build your family come and stay here bali is a father mr president hakainde hijinema as a father of this country as the president of this country my appeal to you sir is just let tayali come back let tayali come back let tayali come back we all go astray everyone could have gone astray let tayali come back and i can guarantee you tayali wherever you are if you are watching this video if you are watching this video humble yourself because you won't run for the rest of your life zambia is your home zambia is your country we are your brothers do not be misled by that sia sia chopped that sia hundred do not be misled do not be misled do not be misled come back humble yourself i know you could be running because of imilan do just humble yourself come back the president of this country has got powers the president of this country has got powers just come back just come back just come back brother come back and i am saying to the zambian people as you think of as you sing alebwele lapo as you try to sing alebwele lapo let me tell you the things you want to come back and let me open your eyes do you know that if pf were defaulting debt they were not paying back the debt that's why they seemed as if they had money now in this current government they are paying back the debt sorting out the debt and trying to sort out and they've removed subsidies there is no let me tell you <laughs> yeah hey we will see a see a hundred why has it why haven't you spoken about tinubu removing fuel subsidies you will see a, see a hundred see a hundred has failed to talk about tinubu's removal of fuel subsidies 
Fuel in Nigeria is expensive. Why are you talking about fuel in Zambia? Fuel in Zambia is expensive because there are no fuel subsidies. For how long will Africa be depending on subsidies? For how long will Africans ever be depending on subsidies? Subsidies, subsidize this, subsidize this. There are no subsidies at the, at the moment because we are paying off our debt. The debt that was left by PF Lungu had an opportunity at, an, at the Uka rally in Kitwe to talk about how he was going to fix the debt. He never spoke about how he was going to fix the debt. Lungu, up to date, has never apologized on the killings of Unsamansama. Mapenzi, Lawrence Banda, a lot of people under Lungu's leadership died under his watch. No investigations were carried. No investigations were carried. People died in Lungu's, in Lungu, at, under Lungu's rule. People died and that's how they died. It's today we can see that, okay, things are even being investigated. It's now we can see that Honorable Jack Mwimbu, the Minister of Home Affairs, is talking about investigations. They are no longer, there were no investigations in Irungu's government. You will die, you will die. That University of Zambia student that died, why didn't they talk about it? Today, me PF think I can side with them. You PF, you, you wanted me to rot in jail. You PF, you called for me to be recorded, to be fired. Today, you would want me to, to come and associate with you. I cannot associate with you. I cannot associate with you. I cannot associate with me. Even the UPND that called me ungrateful. You caught me ungrateful. There is only me, only me can defend the church with my life. I have defended the church and I can defend the church with my life. You people who are cowards, you fail to defend the church. You fail to defend the church's policies. You are the ones who attack people like me who defend the church and its policies. You PF have no record of fighting corruption. HH has set a record, has set the bar very high on fighting corruption. When, you P, when PF was in power, someone is being investigated for corruption, they still continued working, reporting for work. Under HH, when you are found with cases of corruption, you are advised to resign. Advised to resign. Because the laws of this country were made in such a way that people who are corrupt were protected. But right now, that is the thing that HH is trying to fight. For the past three years, HH has been in government. He's been trying to fight those rules, those laws they put. Because these guys were passing laws in parliament on protecting the corrupt people. How do you expect HH to expedite the process of fighting corruption when the people in those institutions are protected by the law? PF made laws that protected those that were doing corruption they protected them they protected those people that were corrupt they made laws went to parliament and passed laws that protected the corrupt people now how can hs just wake up and fire a person without following the law if he doesn't follow the law you are the ones who be saying hs is not following the law a church is following the law. He can't just wake up and say, you are a fired you. You are a kabioku. No, he has to follow the law. He has to follow the law. So you see a hundred who feels that you have more power in Zambia. You come and change that law we see. You can't <laughs> come and change that law we see. Come and that change law we see.
That's why to come and reverse the things that we are already moving forward. What does he want? He wants to take us back, back and reverse again. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.